everybody. This is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about seven ideas to do instead of a no spend month or no spend year. As many of you know, if you go to YouTube, you see a lot of videos pop up about no spend month, no spend year. Some people do it on their food budget. Some people do it on makeup or clothing. I think that's great if they, more power to everybody who wants to do it because if it helps them save money and they're hitting their financial goals, that's all that matters. When I hear the word no spend, for me, I feel I get a little down in the dumps, to be honest with you. And I feel like people are telling me that I have to go without. And I kind of don't like that for myself. So I have to turn it around to something positive. So that's where my seven ideas come in. So let me get started. Number one idea, and I showed you this in my previous video. If people really took time and started doing a treasure hunt in their home and started digging through, I think we're going to find a lot of stuff we didn't realize we had that are going to bring us joy, and it's like finding new things. Recently, I found two sweaters that I really didn't realize I had. So it was like buying two new sweaters, and it really made me feel good. So I really think the treasure hunt through your home and taking time to really go through things really can add a lot of joy to your life. Number two, and I've done this one time. Actually, I've been to one, and I've hosted one, a swap meet love them. People can bring anything from books, music, clothing, things they're not using, gently used, and people swap with each other. It doesn't cost any money. People can share a snack if they want or it can be come and go, but it's a way to get some things that you might need or maybe a book you have never read before but you didn't want to purchase. And it's just a lot of fun to do it. I've gotten things from this such as clothing, music, books, storage, all sorts of things. So that could be another thing, hosting or getting a swap meet together. Number three, if there's something that you really want or maybe even need, but if there's something that you really, really want and you feel like, you know, I said I wasn't going to do a no spend on clothing, but I really like this particular brand of shirt or pants and they're a good deal and I know that I'm going to use it and you don't want to spend the money, what you could do is you could either get a side gig just to make enough money for that or you could sell some of your stuff to make money to buy that. That's you, That way it cancels it out. So that's another idea. Number four, if you decide to do a quote no spend, you could make a game out of it and have your friends join in and you could share everything that you may have together. So let's say if you did a no spend on groceries, maybe host a meal and have everybody bring food something of that nature or no spend on clothes like I said do the swap meet and see what people have or you may possibly if you really think it maybe give yourself a five dollar budget and go to a thrift store or garage sale and say okay all we have is five dollars if we find something that we like for five bucks or under we can get it just make it a game and have fun with it number five maybe go without something for a time. And I'll give you an example. One of the things I'm going to be doing instead of a no spend is I think for January and February, I'm going to pick a week out of there where I spend less on groceries that week. It may be 50 or 60, and I may be showing you that grocery haul that I spend less, by the way. That way you've got one week out of the month where you're not really doing a no spend all month, but where you cut back for one week because everybody can do something for a short time. You may not decide to do a whole month of it, but you may say, this weekend, instead of me going to the movies or going out and getting coffee or going out to eat, I'm going to take this weekend only and do a no spend and come up with fun, creative things you can do instead, such as a game night, going to the park. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be going to a free movie near us that they show some of these older movies. I think it's called Pillow Talk, and I'll be doing that, and it's totally free. So you could think of things that you can do and just pick a short period of time that you can go with a no spend. Number six, I buy the things that I need. If there's something you need and you do have the money for it, I personally do not go without. Example being, I needed a new pair of shoes to do my product demonstrations in. I had them for three years. I need to have no slip because sometimes I'm near water and I need them to be good shoes because I'm on hard pavement. And I usually need to replace them about once every three years. They kind of cost a lot, but they're going to last me. And they're good quality shoes that I get fitted for. It was a need. It wasn't a want. And so I did replace those. So 
Buy the things you need, it's definitely if you have the money. And number seven, one other final thing, and I've shown you guys this, and I might show you guys this again and go over some of them. On a spreadsheet, sheet, I keep a list of all of our family's needs or wants, and I put need or want. And the things that are definitely needed, I highlight them in pink. That way they stand out. So say somebody needs new glasses, and that's number one priority. It's at the top of the list, and it's highlighted in pink. So make sure to keep track of all your needs. Let me know if you guys do no spend or if you have any ideas to do instead of a no spend. I always love your creative ideas. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.